So on the subject of Bowery, I want to offer my own opinions. Um, because one thing I learned about myself when I was uh, becoming a sightseeing guide years ago, uh, a few years ago, was that I learned well, okay? But, because I thought I didn't. I thought, okay, now I have a problem with this. But it's not quite my learning. It's, it's more, uh, maybe it's style, but it's a choice as well. Because what I choose to do is cut off. I don't want to know more when I feel like I know a certain amount of something. Because what happened was uh, I was learning about certain things and I saw, no, my, I was actually a Gold Star licensed uh, sightseeing guide. So it was in New York City. Uh, so it was Gold Star for the highest percentage of information retained uh, for the test the highest percentage of correct answers for the information that I had to learn. So that was, so that was, uh, you know, compared to other sightseeing guides. So that was what I scored. So I got the gold star, but anyway, uh, but I didn't, I flunked out of being a sightseeing guide. I said, no, this isn't for me. And what happened was, well, anyway, so that's a, so I'll make a long story short. So this is Bowery, and I started to put one of my uh, nice uh, <laughs> uh, or stupid deliberations that I like to do, and I like to think about different things around the city. So I started to think about some things here in Bowery uh, that I uh, let me just make sure this is Bowery because I don't I don't look so much at the signs. Yeah, okay. So it's Bowery. Okay. So anyway, so. And by the way, this is Houston. So that used to be Manhattan Avenue back in Manhattan time when uh, there was water running through, I believe. So, so uh, what I believe is, so, when, so my own opinion that I'll quickly put out is a little bit revolutionary in thought because I believe that what they mean by, yes, there used to be irrigation back in, uh, um, some of my ancestors' times, which is um, Native American times, 10,000 years before uh, Europeans arrived here. So, uh, which I'm part European also. I have black and, um, and Puerto Rican, but in that I have DNA that's, you know, got different ancestries going on. So anyway, so my thinking is that this is one of the, this, here, Bowery. So going down this way to the south and going up this way to the north, you can see Empire State Building lit up in red. See? Let me zoom in. So that, so this, I believe, is a main thoroughfare for back in the day. So I believe it would have been similar and parallel to East River that way and Hudson River that way where Houston re meets from end to end uh, that's where I just walked from which I just pointed out okay so if you stick with me and you picture these main thoroughfares which you can think of also as the avenues but it may not have been every avenue but I believe this was one so I believe because the, today for spring, for the first day of spring, I wanted to bring to you some fun facts. So I wanted to bring you the fun fact of springs here in Manhattan. So this is a spring area here in Manhattan, if you wanted to know. So there were two main creeks that ran from Stuyvesant. You all know the name. Well, New York is known the name Stuyvesant. So, so they ran from, okay, so Stuyvesant, Creek ran from Rivington, and so Rivington is down this way, east on Houston. So Rivington, and I think it was Stanton. I think so. 
But if you think of uh, the creek running from there, and then it emptied uh, from Third Street out to the East River. Now I live on Third Street, so it emptied from Third Street onto the East River, and then. If you think also of this house and being a main uh, waterway, uh, and and then if you know also, like I learned early on in the book Manhattan, in my early on, and I say in my uh, studies to become a sightseeing guide, uh, I learned, and that was pretty much like all I needed to know, was that there were many beaches along the 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 harbor the uh, the along the Manhattan Island, which I figured already, I, I, everyone would have figured that, but there were a lot of uh, streams, springs, natural springs, so natural, um, where natural water came from the ground. And that was, that stayed even in the days where colonization had already begun and New York was already becoming what it is. So people stayed and made uh, springs. They they um, they had natural springs, like all right up here on, um, uh, I think it was 6th Street, 12th Street, and they were bottling water and selling it from little push carts. And so it's a lot of fun and interesting facts. But, um, but yes, New York City was filled with springs, orchids, uh, lots of rainforests. So, but there was irrigation from the Indians. What the Indians have, and Native Americans, some like to say. And so they had, I'm going to come up with my own term, but so they had uh, irrigation, which I believe, if you, if you stick with me, that these two waterways on either side of Manhattan Island combined. So fresh water from the Hudson and salt water from the East River which is where the Atlantic Ocean washes in to our harbor and also down the East River and up the East River. So these main waterways, like this one that I'm standing on, <laughs> okay, maybe, combined and mixed up. So where fresh water and salt water combined. And uh, so, um, I think it brings me to also one of the things that I've been thinking about for mixing, for bringing seawater and mixing it with land in terms of using seawater in solving our planetary crisis of uh, the sea levels needing to be lowered. And so I have a lot of uh, thoughts on that, but I have no knowledge in terms of studied science or anything like that. I need some scientists, yes. <laughs> so anyway, so this is a, a nice pondering, but it went too long and um, nice for me and hopefully to somebody else out there. <laughs>